Right, we're back again with the pool heater. This time, 10 foot pool. It's my pet duck going over there. Um, 10 foot pool, and I've made my own one. So this is a rocket stove I've just made out of a piece of old structural steel. <clears throat> For those that don't know, it's basically just a box of steel. You've got a self-loading flap there to chuck coal in. Air vent and regulator here. And down in there, I've got a copper coil, coil at the moment I'm just testing the tile over it to trap more heat. Um, cold water in there and hot water out that side. It doesn't come out boiling. I'm just working out the temperature difference at the moment. Right, if we look carefully, you can see the heat output down there. The bigger that plume, the warmer the water is coming out. At the moment it's about 45 degrees or so coming in. Sorry, coming out of the hot side. But I'm going to make a, a better heat exchanger to go down the middle. At the moment I've only got a short one heat exchanger. Only goes down to about here because uh, I bodged it up basically. So I'm going to buy another piece of copper and I want one to go right down to here and I might put an external one as well to capture more heat and then a T-split to um, double the output. Uh, so down here we've just got a little £2.12 volt Chinese pump and a massive quake battery which should last about four days and like that. Pretty simple and it's just some plastic pipe. Of course this can be quite near the fire this one um, because of the cold water going through all the time but obviously um, as I get better at bending the pipes, I'll bring the pipes a bit further out or even put connections down here or something like that. Anyway, that's it for the moment.